Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we have two practice problems using formulas uh, of polygons. All right, so, and actually we're going to explain one of the formulas that's part of the problem, or one of the practice problems. Okay, so number 21, we're going to explain why each of the three ingredients in the formula for the number of diagonals uh, exists. Explain each of the formula ingredients for the number of diagonals in a polygon. So we have the number of diagonals in a polygon is equal to n number of sides times number of sides minus three divided by two. All right, so first thing is we know that from each of the vertices you can draw n minus three diagonals. And even before that, we know that uh, the number of sides corresponds to the number of vertices. So n is really, we could say v for n, um, but the number of vertices and the number of sides are the same. So we also know, so number one is uh, each of the vertices we can draw n minus 3 diagonals. And we showed that as part of the lesson. So let's go ahead and do that anyway. We have a, in this particular case, a hexagon. And so this uh, theory would say that I can draw a total of 6 minus 3, or 3 diagonals from each of the vertices in a hexagon. So I have 1 here, 2, and 3. And you can experiment this as long as you want for as many polygons as you want. And you're going to end up finding that the number of diagonals is going to be equal to <coughs> n, or the number of sides, minus 3. So I have 6 sides and 3 diagonals. So from each of the vertices, you can draw n minus 3 diagonals. The number of sides is equal to the number of vertices, which we, what we said originally. Um, and then since each vertex shares a diagonal with another vertex, so in this case, I have side or vertex A, and let's just call this E. <clears throat> I count AE as one diagonal, and then EA as another diagonal, right? So I have three diagonals per vertex. I have six vertices, so I would have 18 different diagonals, but I've counted them twice. So I have to divide by two, otherwise the diagonal would be counted twice or double counted. So again, the number of sides is equal to the number of vertices. From each of the vertices, you can draw n minus three diagonals. Right, so I have number of vertices times the number of vertices or diagonals per vertex. Since I count them twice, I have to divide by two, and that leaves me with the number of diagonals for the polygon. All right, number 23, uh, last question. Seven of the angles of a decagon have measures whose sum is 1,220 degrees. Of the remaining three angles, exactly two are complementary and exactly two are supplementary. Find the measures of these three angles. All right, well, I can figure out the sum of all the measures of a decagon, because I have the formula. It's going to be n minus 2 times 180. So I say 10 minus 2, or 8, times 180. That gives me 1,440 degrees in my decagon. Well, I know the sum of the 7 of the 10 is equal to 1,220. So I subtract the 1,220 from 1,440, leaving me with 220 degrees split between those three angles that are in question. Then I know that I have one angle, let's just call it x, another angle that's supplementary to this angle, and supplementary to this angle, and then another angle that's complementary to the angle. So I have the angle, the complementary angle, and the supplementary angle, and they all add up to 220 degrees. So if I simplify this, I have negative x, so I have two, uh, negative 2x plus x gives me negative x, 90 plus 180 gives me 270, that's equal to 220 degrees. I subtract 270 from both sides. I get x is equal to 50. So if x is equal to 50, then the angle that's supplementary to that angle is 40 degrees. The angle that's, I'm sorry, the angle that's complementary to that angle is 40 degrees. And the angle that's supplementary to the angle that's 50 degrees is 130 degrees. So my three angles are going to be 50, 40, and 130.